<laughs> this is look at the face. No, no, no. Don't worry, Frank. It's not for you. It's for me. Okay. So what I need you to do is uh, stand directly behind me. Go ahead and stand directly behind me. Not too close. I don't know you that well. Just, Just grab that. Just grab that buckle right there. Okay. Grab that strap right there. And what I need you to do, Frank, is uh, go ahead and strap that in, lock it in as tight as it'll go. Get on the very last hole if possible. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. And uh, as quickly as you can, go ahead and just start strapping all the buckles from the very top to the very bottom. Now, what Frank is putting on me is a regulation straight jacket. It's uh, made out of canvas. It's got leather straps, so double riveted. They've got steel buckles on there. And they used to put this on the Kremlin insane so they wouldn't hurt other people or hurt themselves. And in some places, they don't use these very much anymore because they're considered cruel and unusual. And you're about to see the cruel and unusual part. <laughs> Frank, you see that strap right between my legs? <laughs> Strap that one in too. <laughs> make it make it secure. <laughs> Thank you very much, Frank. <laughs> you got it. Go make it secure. You're doing great, Frank. You're doing awesome. <laughs> All right, and uh, lastly, just my arms. This one, I want you to pull on it, yank on it, tug on it, put your knee in my back if you need to, get it really tight, okay? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, get on the very last if you can, and then just loop that through. Fantastic, hey everybody, give Frank a big hand. Thank you very much, go to your seat. I'm gonna turn around so you can see my straps and buckles real quick. Now let me ask you a question. Oh, well, first of all, right now I'm looking at your eyes and I could, I'm like reading your minds. And I can I already know what you're thinking. It's like, where the heck do you get a straight jacket in the first place? <laughs> it's pretty easy. They're issued to you. <laughs> Yet, how many of you have ever felt like this before where you want to do more, be more, you knew you can accomplish more, and yet it felt like your hands were tied behind your back, that there was some kind of limitation holding your back? How many of you have ever felt like this before? Raise your elbows. <laughs> now, not that you've been in a jacket before, yet what kind of things in life or business can make you feel like you've got your, your arms tied behind your back? What kind of things? Go ahead and shout out. Fear. Fear. What, what, what was that in the very back? Oh, day job, yeah, absolutely. It's like, I want to do all this entrepreneurial stuff, but I ha when do I have time? Fear, fear of what? Failure. Fear of failure, what if I do this and it doesn't work? What else? Fear of success, what, I, what if I do this, it changes my whole life, all of a sudden, do I have to change my friends, change, change you know, my identity of who I am? I've struggled so long, I'm not sure if I know how to not struggle. What else? Money, money? it takes money to make money, right? What else can limit a person? Yeah, it's like, well, no one else says this is going to work. Everyone's telling me this doesn't work. How can, how can I succeed with that? What else could a... La education or lack of education. Maybe the wrong education, right? Uh, maybe a unsupportive relationship, a dead-end job. Um, you know, uh, you can say things like maybe it's the, the, the marketplace or the timing of the, of the economy or uh, you know government and new laws all these things can hold a person back from being more all they can be right and so all of a sudden you know no one says hey today i'm going to take on a limiting belief today i'm deciding hmm what would it like be like to have a fear of success today no one says that it's just like all of a sudden one day like whoa hey how did this get on me and when you find yourself in that position, what do you do? What do you do? I'll tell you what most other people who aren't in this room have done. They simply accepted it. They go, wow, boy, how'd that get there? Guess this is how I'm going to have to live my life now. And they accept it. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. They go to work. Do, do, do. They come home. Do, do, do. And that's their life. They just simply accept that new limitation. And then there's other people. Other people, perhaps like yourself, who say, you know what? This isn't enough. I know I can be more. I know I can do more. I've seen other people do it. Not everyone around me is negative. I see people uh, in seminars and television. I've got to do something. But what do I do? I've, 
I've never found myself in this position before. I had a lot of money. All of a sudden, I lost it all. And then, in, what do I do? I've never been so poor before. How am I supposed to build it up again? Well, I was in North Carolina backstage with, uh, at an event with 10,000 people, and Jeff Gordon was, was there, the, the race car driver. And he said, you know, wh what, when I go into turn three, I'm going to have to pay attention to the car in front of me, the car behind me, my pit crew in one ear, my partner, uh, uh, team uh, driver on my left ear. I'm going to have to pay attention to how my left tires feel compared to my right tires. I got to pay attention to these three gauges. And then, uh, and then I need to, you know, clutch, downshift, accelerate, clutch, shift again, uh, uh, accelerate, brake, accelerate. You know, all these things all at the same, uh, within like a three second time. I'm like, holy cow. Like, how do you do that, Jeff? And he said, well, I know the first thing I need to do is get in the car. Meaning, get into the game. Do something. You know, do something. Anything. Okay. I haven't found this position before. Do something. You do this professionally, Frank? <laughs> Boy, that didn't work. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to go to my friends and going to say, hey, I heard you were trying to do something. Did you do it? No, but I tried. I tried and it didn't work. You know, I, you know they said, hey, I, uh, you, so you went to your first uh, seminar there. Uh, is, is your life changed now? No, you, it, and, it, and it hasn't changed. Well, I tried. I tried and so I guess I'm just going, and it didn't work, so I guess I'm just going to have to live with it. <laughs> If you haven't done something much, is it likely that when you're doing it the first time that you're going to knock it out of the ballpark with your first swing? You know, uh, it's possible, and people have done it, but it doesn't happen every single time. And so if it doesn't happen again, you've got that choice. You can either accept it, or you can do something again. It, you know, as uh, my, my uh, Little daughter, she's three years old, and it's like she, you know, she wanted to go to Chick Fil A, and it's like, you know, it's like, oh, it's, you know, it's Sunday, Chick Fil A is closed. She goes, well, you know, we can just go there, and if they're closed, we can come home. You know, just do something. <laughs> you know, just if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. They say, okay, fine, try again. Okay. Hey everybody, I tried twice. I joined two multi-level marketing companies. Neither of them work. It's impossible for anyone to get rich. I tried twice and it doesn't work. So, I guess I'm going to have to live with it. <laughs> right? And yet, let me ask you a question. When you saw me struggle the first time, and when you saw me struggle the second time, did it look any different between the two? Not really. You know, because why? I was doing the same thing, expecting a different result, also known as the definition of? Insanity. Insanity, absolutely. So if you want to get a different result, you got to do something differently. I remember hearing the story about Bruce Lee, and he took one of his students out to the driveway and told him to stay perfectly still and stand, uh, stand still. With a piece of chalk, he drew a circle. Around the, around the student. And as he drew that circle around the student, he said, stay perfectly still, do not move. Then all of a sudden, Bruce Lee went into a series of kicks and punches coming inches from this guy's face. The guy backed off, whoa! Okay, and Bruce Lee shook his head and said, no, 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 no. You need to follow my instructions. Stay perfectly still in the center of the circle and do not move. All of a sudden, Bruce Lee again went into a series of kicks and punches coming inches from this guy's face, so he started to block them. Bruce Lee shook his head again and said, nope, that wasn't my instruction. You need to stay perfectly still in the center of the circle. Here's what you need to know. As long as I am outside of the circle, none of my punches or kicks can touch you. Only when I step into the circle do you need to react. How many of you know other people that are reacting to things in life that are beyond their control? Yeah, people do it all the time. This person said this, this person said that. It's like, okay, people say that. What are you going to do? 
you know? And so go and do something different. Instead of struggling, I could fight the canvas, the, the straps, the buckles, the rivets. I could fight the economy. I could fight uh, the, the marketplace. I can fight the government, taxes, the laws. I, there's a ton of things I can fight. And yet, instead of fighting everything, why don't we just focus? Instead of panic and struggle, we focus on not, maybe not getting to being a billionaire tomorrow, but we just look to get a little bit of money today, or just a little win, and we focus our energy <coughs> so we can get a small movement. Because once, I know once you get that small little movement, whether it's an elbow, or just the first action of setting up a, deciding what kind of product or service you wanna do, one little thing, once you decide on the product, then you decide on your funnel. Then you decide on what kind of squeeze page. Then you decide on one little thing at a time. You don't have to fight everything at once. When you do one little thing after a little thing, all of a sudden, those little things add up. And you start to get bigger wins. Small things lead to big things. Ah. But focusing, being persistent, you start to get more movement, more progress. Write this down. <laughs> when you're doing something wrong, doing something right feels wrong. When you're doing something wrong, Doing something right feels wrong. Why is that? Because it's new. It's different. What, what I see is people come to these events. They learn something that works. They start to do it. Because it's new and different, they get scared. They say, oh my gosh, this doesn't feel right. Am I doing this right? Maybe I should just stop right now before I do something wrong. Let's stop. Or then they backtrack and they retreat. They stop doing the things that were while they were going in the right direction. I'm telling you, as you start building your business, there's going to be times where you're going to question yourself, am I doing this right? You're supposed to do that, okay? The key thing is, write this down, follow through. Again, I could fight the whole jacket, I could fight the whole, you know, uh, government and all those sort of things, yet just get one win, one win. Get that first sale online, that first strap, that first buckle. Once you get that first win, You can start to breathe again. <laughs> it feels good, all right? So, hey, wow. Hey, this is working. I got one buckle, one strap. I got one sale online. Hey, let's take this jacket off and celebrate. Okay. <laughs> A little bit too soon for that. That would, that would hurt if I move too fast. And yet, I'll tell you, in business, I see it all the time. I see someone, they get to... They get a little wins. They get a couple of sales, and then all of a sudden, it's time to go buy that new car. It's time to go get that new thing. And the thing is, no, it's not over yet. You don't have that financial freedom. Absolutely pat yourself on the back. Celebrate that small win so that you can get another one and keep the motivation going. However, it's not enough to get one win. How many of you don't want just one win? You want to win after win after win after win after win, right? So you got to follow through. You got to keep your eyes focus on exactly where you're going. Go ahead for that full dream life. Don't just get a, a success. It's not about the business. It's about creating a lifestyle. It's about having more wins in life. That pursuit, that continuation of going for what you want. Woo! Until you get the freedom you deserve. <laughs>